look at how pretty and sexy ah foundation brush by bk beauty it's amazing hi everybody welcome to katya beauty style channel and today i'm gonna show you how i do the pet mcgraph eyeshadows yes look at this palette it's beautiful we have shimmer we have matte we have sparkles here this is one of my favorite favorite eyeshadow it is 62 dollars i will show you step by step how i create this look after 45 i think i look pretty good yes i use a lot of products from her and they are my favorite in this video name for this eyeshadow it's venice in florence looks eyeshadow and i believe it's veristic vixen it's so hard for me to pronounce sorry if i say a little bit wrong original from ukraine it's 62 dollars i will swatch for you but most important again i will show you how i create this look i think it looks so beautiful this uh, eyeshadow on me and if you like comments below and if you're new to my youtube channel welcome to katya beauty style channel this is me without makeup and you can see it's a huge difference okay let's start i have already skincare on my face but now let's do primer foundation and concealer i'm gonna use estee lauder double wear smooth and blur primer i love this primer it's 45 dollars why i have a very large pores and this product will minimize my pores and will make my foundation stay all day long but most important today i'm gonna show you something amazing and i'll be honest with you i'm not a big tiktoker or even youtuber and instagrammer and usually with something selling on tiktok i just look but i never buy but I did purchase this amazing brush and it's a BK Beauty brush. This brush is amazing. Even worse foundation will look beautiful if you're gonna use this particular brush. And this is 101. Primer I apply only where I need. I know I have a very large pores right here. I'm not gonna apply on the entire my face because believe me not this primer feels a little bit dry but and I'm combination to dry now but I do have large pores and this primer really really minimize my pores before foundation i'm gonna use concealer and this is the new concealer from guerlain it's 24 hour wearing and it's a luminous brightening concealer i like it's a glass and uh, let's try let's see i actually already tried this concealer and i do like this concealer I really like this concealer now let's use foundation I like to use my hand right here I put in Pat McGrath foundation love this foundation it's a buildable foundation it's a liquid foundation this foundation have 36 shades also medium light coverage buildable coverage but because I have this amazing brush you can see this pigmentation discoloration it's gonna cover everything and this is it's a serum foundation again very light it's not heavy but my skin right now it's pretty dry i like how it feels this foundation and i like how it looks this foundation on me okay look how glows in this foundation and again it's a very good coverage look at this 
you don't see no more discoloration and pigmentation i think it looks beautiful let me know if you like this foundation or not on me but again if you combination to dry this is good foundation and this is it's amazing brush recommend everyone yes 100 percent amazing brush I am so happy how this foundation looks on my skin but yes it's a good foundation but I'm telling you this is it's a magic 101 foundation brush by BK Beauty it's amazing I forgot to mention my concealer it's 2N and my foundation it's light medium I'm gonna set my foundation right now with Dior Loose Powder Color Fair and I'm using Hourglass brush. I also in love with this brush. It's kind of expensive, but you know what? I rather get one good one than I have 20 different ones. Another product which one I'm gonna show you, I will say this is my number one, number one favorite brow gel and this is its grande brow laminate brow styling gel with peptide it's clear it's common with brush like this double-ended brush and i believe it's 20 or 25 dollars i will list it all products below and if you purchase from my link um, i get a little commission and i really appreciate your love and if you are new to my youtube channel so subscribe comments below love you more than ice cream it means a lot to me i am growing slowly but i know what i'm doing because i love to do makeup okay again brow gel why i like this brow gel few reasons first reason when i am applying it's not giving me any residue because sometimes you're applying brow product and what I see sometimes it's like give me like this residue like you have powder on your brows or it just don't look like looks like a dust and you can see it's clear I apply this way eh, it looks awful right now I have a, this small tiny brush and I push in my brows up it's have a very nice hold and you can create shape like you like but I just like how it looks it's not giving me any residue and also I'm making a little bit lift my eye Okay, we'll get one my brow and another brow. I'm gonna let this product like one or two minutes kind of dry on in here and then I'm gonna use pencil and I'm gonna feel where I need to feel. But again, look at this huge difference, right? It's lift my eyes, it's open my eyes and it looks amazing. I lift my brows and now I'm gonna use same brush I have little bit eyebrow powder and I'm just gonna slightly little bit fill my eyebrows where they need to be filled yes this is so beautiful one more time let me show you how gorgeous this palette i do like her eyeshadow not all but definitely like three four palette i absolutely in love before eyeshadow let me put eyeshadow primer and it's from pet mcgrath i want my eyeshadow stay all day all night this is so beautiful gorgeous eyeshadow let me swatch for you let me show you this four beautiful warm bronze eyeshadow we have here it's matte we have shimmer we have a glitter and they are limit addition how i understand these colors let me swatch for you but this is so pretty right
Wow, look at this eyeshadows. Wow, look at this color. Again, we have a light pearl, then we have with you. It's a beautiful like orangey gold and like it's just very unusual this color this is it's a metallic topi and this is it's a burgundy matte color first i'm gonna use chanel brush 202 and we're gonna use this matte color but i also gonna show you something <laughs> right here it's my eyeshadow i taking off some excess from brush because i'm not sure how heavy this eyeshadow is they will fall down or not and this is why i do this first and then i'm gonna apply and if i need more color i can always add more i apply this darker color on my low lid and i push it up we have with you only one color and it's a beautiful burgundy color it's okay it's not perfect and you can see i push in little bit little bit up this color and now i will need to use another brush and this is will be a big blending brush i'm just gonna little bit blend this burgundy color and i am pushing this color up i like makeup but i also like to do something very sim simple and understanding look yes if it's i will say lady gaga concert we will do something different crazy but i'm teaching you how to use this palette on your every day regular day or special day and something it's not too complicated with uh, with application again you can see i just push this color up after blending i'm gonna apply a little bit more right here in the corner and i push it up like a foxy way this burgundy eyeshadow again it's have a very very nice beautiful pigment this eyeshadow and just a little bit more right here now i need a little bit more blend and i'm using my favorite small tiny brush from north i feel in this video i'm showing you a lot of products which one i will say i must have it's one of my favorite favorite products again this is small tiny blending brush from north wow look at my eyes they look so blue and beautiful now let's use this pencil from estee lauder and it's a so unusual pencil you can see one it's like a peachy nude color and on another side like it's a burgundy purple beautiful formula i'm gonna apply lighter color right here on the corner and then I'm gonna use this darker color. I have a small tiny brush and I'm gonna just blend, blend this eyeliner. I'm gonna soft this eyeliner a little bit. Now I'm going to use same brush which one we use here and I'm going to slightly little bit blend this eyeliner and I also push in this eyeshadow close to this eyeliner what else it's something very important i do all the time i have my beauty blender and because believe me not after 45 one of my eyes little bit up and also down but i have my beauty blender and just like slightly clean up right here right here on the corner 
My eyes look so pretty, pop, looks beautiful. But let's time to use the rest of eyeshadow in this palette. You know what? Let's go with this color first. And this is, it's a beautiful metallic color. We're gonna layer color. I'm gonna use this color on top of my burgundy color. Now it's time to use second color. I have a small tiny North brush. And we're gonna apply this color. It is, again, it's a shimmer color right here on the corner. We layering color. It looks so beautiful. Again, I apply this color right here on the corner, and these colors, it this feels like a butter. She suggests to use a finger. I like to use brush. I'm not yet experienced this eyeshadow with fingers, but brush works really good. You know what? Let's try my finger. I'm gonna use this beautiful color. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Wow, it's gorgeous. Again, this color I apply right here on the center of my eyelid and I can see it's a little bit falling down this eyeshadow. It means I really need to use setting mist to set my makeup. Time to set my makeup because we do have the sparkles and they are a little bit falling down but I using Charlotte Tilbury makeup setting spray with luck it's gonna make my eyeshadow stay and nothing falling down but again look at my eyes we're almost done I am gonna use one more color in this palette and it's the lighter color I'm gonna apply close to my brow bone right here on the corner and then I'll put of course eyeliner and mascara but if you you want to buy one eyeshadow palette where it's four I will recommend this if you want something extra I like two palette but um, I think this is it's another one which one I really really like but it's a lot of colors if you want me to make video with this palette I will just comments below but let's continue I need a small tiny brush I apply this lighter color very very close to my brows and I slightly soft and blend. I want this eye lift. I want this color, but I don't want to have a huge, huge difference. Basically, a little bit soft in this color. You know, let's put this beautiful gold bronze color right here a little bit underneath. For this look, we need liquid eyeliner. Today, I'm gonna use eyeliner from Tom Ford. I'm gonna apply very, very close to my lashes. It's gonna bring even more my eyes. It's gonna make my eyes way more sexy. Eyeliner is done and now I'm gonna use black eyeliner from North and I'm gonna use between my lashes just like this. This look needs lots of lots of lashes. I'm gonna use lash primer from Lancome. It's not just treatment, it will make your eyelashes five times bigger. You always use this first. I do not wait this primer to even dry. I apply in one, two, and then I use in mascara. Today I'm gonna use mascara from Melt. It's a good volume mascara and I always put on my mascara sticker when I purchase, when I open, I put sticker and then I know if this mascara good or not because every three months you need to switch your mascara and for a bottom lashes I am gonna use 
different mascara. Why? Because I like MAC mascara for one reason. It's so tiny brush and it's just good separation and it's way more comfortable for me to use this brush tiny than like applying big one and it's kind of sometimes you can make mess. But I hope you like this look. Again, if you like this comments below i need your help and uh, let's almost finish this look <laughs> Now I'm gonna use bronze from Pat McGrath. I love her bronze. If you're looking for powder bronze, this is one of my favorite right now bronze because it has this like a blurry effect. I love color. I will list it color which one I using right now. And you applying close to your hairline. You pushing up right here, not under pushing you can see a little bit higher my bronze after 45 i want this extra lift next product it's pat mcgrath highlighter and i apply right here and i push it up let's put a little bit highlighter on my nose very very little I have a three different Pat McGrath blushes. I love them. Okay, maybe this one. Mm, maybe this one. Oh, this one. This one is a little bit pale today. And oh my God, I like to these blushes. You know, it's getting dark. Probably I will go with this one. Again, I will list it products below. But look at how pretty these details, the roses in a blush. Her blush, it's really, really pigmented. Be careful, girls. I know this one have lots of lots of pigment. For my lips, I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, pillow talk, and then Pat McGrath beautiful, beautiful lip gloss. Wow, I love my makeup. It does look special. All her eyeshadow always looks to me special too. They are different. This is definitely will be my like romantic evening look. 